Hey, so maybe you're thinking about moving to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho or North Idaho and you're wondering what the secrets are to boating on Lake Coeur d'Alene. Well, if that question's been keeping you up at night, you are in the right spot because in today's video, we're taking a boat out and we're going to cruise the north end of Coeur d'Alene Lake, show you some of the secret spots, some restaurants, all the good stuff. Stick around. Let's go. Hey guys, Dave, myself, the rest of our team, we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you trying to learn more about North Idaho. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. That way it'll keep you up to date on all of our latest content. And if you're looking to move right now or 12 months from now, give us a call, text, or email. We would love to help you make that smooth move right up here to North Idaho. All right, we're here at Hagao Marine in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This is Blackwell Island. It's one of the many marinas here in Coeur d'Alene. And we are gonna take out one of the the Hagenau Marine Boat Club boats today. Dave and Renee are members, and it's a really good program. If you're curious about that, we did a video uh, previously. You can check that out, and it'll give you all the scoop on the Hagenau Marine Boat Club. Today, we're taking out the R6. It's a Cobalt R6. It's one of the boats that they have for the Boat Club members. They've got a few other options as well. This thing's like driving a Cadillac. That's the best way I can compare it. It's a sweet boat. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna go cruise around in this sweet machine today and see what's up. So, all right, let's jump in, let's go. So one of the many restaurants that you can access by boat on Lake Coeur d'Alene is Cedars right there behind me. Most of the restaurant is floating, which is kind of cool. If you get seasick, you might not want to eat there, but the uh, menu is very good. So you can boat into this dock right here, walk up there, have dinner, and then boat back to your lake house on Coeur d'Alene. It does not get any better than that. All right, we cheated a little bit. I gotta be honest, we are on the Spokane River, just eh, half a mile from Lake Coeur d'Alene. But we had to pop up here real quick because I wanted to show you a couple of restaurants that are kind of iconic in the area. So that's Riverstone behind me, that whole area. And you've got La Peep and Terraza right behind me as far as the restaurants. You can see a lot of people up there eating, probably thinking that I'm weird right now. La Peep is great for breakfast, lunch. Do they do dinner too? No dinner, breakfast and lunch. Terraza has lunch and dinner and they've got a bunch of good margaritas too. That's a killer place to go. I think it's like Latin cuisine or something like that. And there you go, a couple of options, some beautiful waterfront homes on that side behind me there. So I just wanted to show you this area because it's a quick little boat drive from the lake to get here. You can park on those docks and go eat. All right, I'm gonna hit you with some facts about the lake itself while we're just cruising in this no wake zone right here. So Lake Coeur d'Alene is 25 miles long. It's got about 120 miles of shoreline and it's 50 square miles in a surface area. So it's a pretty big lake. We're not even gonna touch the south end of the lake today. I'm just gonna take you along the north end and show you some of the stuff there because that's where most of the population is gonna access it. So there is some stuff down south for sure, but like I said, most of the amenities and things are gonna be up here on the north side in the Coeur d'Alene area. So that's where we're touching on today. The lake depth at a maximum is 194 feet, which is nothing compared to Lake Pend Oreille, which is like 1200 feet. That's the lake north of us by Sandpoint and the elevation of the lake. So when you talk about like elevation of things, like an elevation of a mountaintop, right? The lake elevation is about 2,128 feet. So it is a very high elevation lake as we're sitting up here in North Idaho. All right, behind me is North Idaho College. That's the beach right there. And you can actually park, you can drive in here and park, the public can, and then access these beaches right here. So that's a cool spot right here in downtown Coeur d'Alene and won't get as busy as say City Beach over by the resort, which we'll show you in a few minutes. You can also rent sailboats over here. Let me turn my angle. You can see some of these boats behind me. So people have rented these sailboats, they take them out. Got a couple of people over here pretending to like paddle boarding. So got a lot of good recreational activities right here 
here at the North Idaho College in Coeur d'Alene. Continuing along the north shore of Lake Coeur d'Alene, right behind me you've got Fort Sherman. That neighborhood's over that way. It continues towards the college. And then you've got the Fort Sherman Park, City Beach, and then Independence Point, which is kind of that concrete outcropping right there. Also a great place to jump in the water. So you've got, oh look, there's a method of transportation that is worse than paddle boarding. No one likes those things. So you've got all of this recreational activity. I'm surprised how, I guess it's pretty early, huh? It's only 10, 20 in the morning. It's not very crowded on the city beach this morning, but it is also a weekday, but beautiful spot to bring the family. You can see the resort behind me there as well. So I just wanted to highlight this area on the north end of the lake. It's a killer spot. Another killer recreational activity. You've got parasailing right there. And then the, you can hop on one of these, rent one of these float planes. I mean, you can, you can't fly it, right? Biplane. Where? A biplane has two wings, right? Four wings, excuse me, four <laughs> wings. That looks like two. Whatever, Dave's calling that a biplane. I'm calling it a float plane. Make a comment, tell me who's right. I don't know. All right, right there behind me is the gateway to the marina here at the resort. So you go through that, that's where if you have a slip at the resort, you can park in there. There's also free parking along the boardwalk. So you can boat into here, park there, walk into the resort and enjoy all the restaurants there. Whispers, the bar, they've got the rooftop bar. Um, lots of great things to do here at the resort. And it's actually really nice inside. So pretty cool spot to check out. cruising on the other side of the resort right now. This is where they do their boat rentals. Then behind me, you've got the Third Street Boat Launch. So that is a public boat launch right there. What else we got back here? We got the Buoy. That's one of our restaurants you can boat into. There's public boat parking over here. It's pay by the hour, by the way. Buoy has a great little menu, a bar, extremely loud music. So it's a cool spot to hang out. And then access to McEwen Park is right here as well. And then as Dave flips her around, you can see that cool little fireboat house right there. That's one of Dave's favorites. And then you see the base of Tubbs Hill. So we're starting to touch into Tubbs Hill right now. These cliffs along here get super crowded in the summer because it's a great spot to jump in and do some cliff diving. Kids love it. So good spot to come hang out. Parents, you can go over to the buoy, get yourself drunk and let the kids go over here and hurt themselves on the cliff. Sounds like a good day to me. We are on the south side of Tubbs Hill right now. And I wanted to show you guys some of the beaches that are out here. The beauty of these beaches is that most people are too damn lazy to walk out here and use them. So they won't be that crowded. So if you come out here in the summertime, you have a good chance of getting some great beach access out here. It's probably eh, a quarter mile to a half mile from the buoy for a reference point. So you, you hike out here, it's, it's a relatively flat hike. There's some rocky areas, so it may not be accessible by everyone. But if you've got a boat, especially a rental boat, you just ram that shit right up on the beach and you're having a good time out there. It's getting hot out. Dave and I are gonna jump in, swim over to that cliff and then dive in. Well, I'm not gonna dive, I'm not that crazy. We're gonna jump in from that cliff right there, show you guys one of the good cliff jumping spots. This is like really on the south. There he goes, southeast corner of Tubbs Hill. So you can hike here. The best way to hike here is from the Sanders Beach side. So you park over there in the public parking and I gotta catch up to Dave, so gotta go. How was it boys? It's amazing, really good. The water's incredible. We are on the east side of Tubbs Hill right now. That's Tubbs Hill right there. And uh, this is 11th Street Marina. So this is a private marina. You can sometimes score leases here, but these are all privately owned. The price tag is in the low 200s currently for one of these slips. Really cool. So they've got their own boat launch right there that's privately owned also. And then tons of great slips here. They're all, not all, some are covered. Then they've got a bathroom inside and like a little clubhouse thing. So cool spot if you can swing it. I think there are a few for sale in there right now. So if you're curious, hit us up. And then right behind me here is Sanders Beach, the smaller section of it. Uh, to the 
side of that oddly colored building there, whatever that is, is the Sanders Beach area, and that's a great little spot to come swimming. It does fill up fast in the summertime, so you want to get here early. Also a great place to cold plunge in the wintertime if you've got the intestinal fortitude to handle that. Behind me here, we've got some very fancy houses for the rich and famous. So if you've got the bank account, that could be a cool spot. They have their own beach. However, there's a road in between, so it's not like you're actually waterfront. So your money could be spent better elsewhere, in my opinion, but would still love to sell you one of those if you're so inclined. Next up on the tour of the north end of the lake, Silver Beach Marina. That thing back there, by the way, is not a prison. It's a condo. It kind of looks like a prison on the water, but good job designing that one. Right behind me here is Silver Beach Marina. This is also owned by the resort. Pro tip, if you're thinking about moving to the area, get on the wait list as soon as possible if you want a boat slip and you might have a chance within the next 10 years. So that's good news. There's a bunch of slips in here. They've got gas in here. They've got a little restaurant, not a restaurant, convenience store where you can buy ice cream for the kids or whatever. So even if you don't have a slip here, you can come in and get gas here, get the kids some ice cream, and the dad can cry over the bill of the gas for the boat. So wanted to hit this one. So this is accessed along Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive, which is it's a right before you get to the freeway off of Sherman, you take a right Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive, winds down along here. Next up will be Bennett Bay and then Higgins Point, which we'll show you those as well. Next restaurant up is Tony's. I've only been here once and it was a fantastic experience. It's fairly expensive, what, like 50 bucks a plate? Is that the consensus, somewhere along those lines? Full disclosure, I had a couple of old fashioned, so the food tasted great to me at the time. I can't confirm nor deny whether it actually is good. Dave and Renee had, what, one out of four? Good? You had a couple bad though, right? A couple bad. So not to talk smack. I think it's good. It's worth a try. Good. What was it? Italian dining? It's Tony's. It's probably Italian, right? But just wanted to highlight it because it's another restaurant here in the north end of the lake that you can boat into and then walk across the street. That's Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive right there and have yourself some fancy dining. And it is fancy. It's a great atmosphere. My experience was good. Heard mixed reviews, but I would give it a try for sure. We are at Higgins Point. You can see, well, maybe not, but that way is the public boat launch at the end of Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive. So Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive dead ends right over here. You've got the public boat launch, pretty good parking there. That's a good spot to launch your boat because it doesn't usually get super crowded, especially if you get here early. Centennial Trail, the bike trail that runs all the way out into Washington starts over here as well. So you can, you can ride that, you can walk, whatever mode of transportation you desire. And then we've got awesome amenities right here. There's a public dock right here, so you can boat in here, use the picnic area. This is Higgins Point. Uh, there's a building on top that you can rent out. This is where people come to watch the Eagles when the Kokanee Salmon are running. If you remember the video I did a while back, there were dead salmon everywhere. I filmed it over in this location. So great place to come watch the Eagles. Fishing's good here. You can also walk out to this beach from the, the boat launch back there. It's a short walk along the shore. And then you have access to all of this. This is a great spot to bring the family to go fishing or swimming in the summertime. Beautiful location. There are 25 named bays on Lake Coeur d'Alene, so quite a few, and we are in one of them right now. This is Blue Creek Bay. There is a public recreation area that you can drive to on that end of it. I have no idea how to get there, don't ask me. This is one of the many bays where you can also live, so some of them don't have homes, but this one does. And I'm often reminded when I see these houses how many people are out here living their best life. So it's a cool spot as there are many cool spots on Lake Coeur d'Alene, but this is probably best known for the rope swing, which Dave is gonna demonstrate for us here shortly. And <laughs> he said, everybody wants to see a fat guy fall. I don't think a fat buddy, but here we go. The rope swing, it's sketchy at best. Dave's gonna do it. So we'll check that out, let's go.
We are in, I think, definitely my favorite bay. I don't know if I speak for everyone on the boat, but this is Beauty Bay, and it is beautiful. There's some cool floating homes over here. I have never seen one of those for sale, so good luck with that. But this is really busy in the weekends. People will pull in here, drop an anchor, and just hang out and swim. And if you are that person that comes cruising through here at uh, high speed, you're a jerk, just know that. So don't do that. If you come to this bay, come in nice and slow. Don't make a big old wake for everybody. People are just trying to chill. Water depth is about 80 feet here, so the kids can swim and not touch any, any of the green stuff that makes them freak out. And behind me here, right there, that is Mineral Ridge. So there's a public parking area down at the base, right over there. And you can hike up, I don't know, it's less than two miles round trip, but beautiful view from up there. You can see forever, a great place to watch the sunset. That's Mineral Ridge, so great little hike. That's only a few minutes outside of Coeur d'Alene to get to that and then have that amazing view from up there. And this here is Beauty Bay, check it out. All right, we are at the Coeur d'Alene Resort Golf Course. This is hole 13. I never hit a ball to it. The driving range, which is cool because you hit your balls out into the water. And then hole 14 is the floating green. That's the iconic floating green. You can just see it in the background there. We'll get some closer up video. I'll probably throw the drone up so you guys can check that out. But wanted to get this view of it. This, this course is beautiful if you ever get the chance to play it. I've come out here and played it twice now. I'm terrible at golf, full disclosure but it's still fun to come check out and enjoy the scenery because you've got this lake as your backdrop. Beautiful spot. We're gonna head in here right now and grab lunch. So this is one of the other restaurants you can boat into. They've got a great a little restaurant right on the golf course that you can go eat lunch at, uh, probably dinner too, I don't know. But you can boat here, hop off the boat and then be right in there for that. So we're gonna go hit that up right now. breath coming up those stairs but we are walking over to the restaurant right here at the Coeur d'Alene Resort look at the view behind me holy moly I don't know where my wife went but we're going so good cool place to check out there's the restaurant behind me okay just for reference boat park down there we walked up heading inside right now to grab lunch right there Alright, last stop of the day, we're over in Kid Island Bay. You can see we're pretty much directly across from downtown Coeur d'Alene right over there. This is one of the easiest bays to access if you keep your boat over at Hagadah Marine on Blackwell Island or at the resort. It's just a quick shot across the lake and so it's usually, it's one of our usual hangouts because we like to pop over here and let the kids swim and hang out. So beautiful homes along here too. You can buy a house in here if one becomes available, but also just, just a great spot to shoot over real quick, let the kids swim and hang out and have fun over here in Kid Island Bay. tour of the north end of Coeur d'Alene Lake. Wanted to show off some of the houses, some of the restaurants, and all of the amazing activities that are up here that you can do. Boating life is one of our favorite things to do since we moved here, and I definitely recommend taking advantage of all the amazing lakes up here in North Idaho because it's just, it's such a great way to get outside and involve the whole family. So hey guys, remember if you're looking to move right now or 12 months from now, give us a call, text, or email. We would love to help you make that smooth move right up here to North Idaho. There's Mark Wahlberg's boat. <laughs>